The much ballyhoo joint Manibela and Piston public transport strike organizers say would draw some 90,000 picketeers and cripple today's commute on the road. Sadly enough, the strike yielded deflating results with a back end of the two-day strike expected to fizzle out like a dud tomorrow, as our Alan Francisco reports. The government closely monitored the transport strike carried out by the groups Piston and Manibela today. The two groups are focused in opposing the PUV modernization program. The Department of Transportation is confident that no passengers were stranded because first, only a few participated in the strike. Second, various government agencies provided free rides. The Philippine National Police also kept an eye on those forcing others to join the strike. Meanwhile, Secretary Jaime Bautista stood firm that the PUV modernization program in the country will continue. Yung pong uh, PUV modernization program, uh, talagang napaka-importanting proyekto. No? Uh, ito po ay ipapatupad natin, uh, supported po ito ng ating mahal na Pangulo, no? supported din ng maraming membro ng Congress at ng Senado. Kaya uh, kami po sa Department of Transportation gagawin namin ang lahat para ma-implement ito ng maayos. No? Earlier this morning, along Commonwealth in Quezon City, some jeepney drivers ignored the transport strike. The flow of passenger rides in the area was smooth. There were many vehicles in operation, both traditional and modern jeepneys. The same situation was observed at a jeepney terminal in Caloocan serving the Malabon Acacia Monumento route. According to their officer, Leandro Doplin, they did not join the transport strike because 99% of their group's drivers are already consolidated. Wala kami choice eh. Ito yung binigay sa amin na parang ginawa kami isang grupo nga, grupo-grupo. Kahit iba-iba yung uh, ano, kooperatiba, parang ginawa kami grupo-grupo. Meanwhile, regarding the issue of postponing the Department of Transportation's imposition of fines on motorists entering toll highways in Greater Metro Manila without radio frequency identification tags, the fines were supposed to be charged on October 1 this year but have been postponed again with a possible implementation in January next year. Uh, yun naman pong uh, joint memorandum circular 01, uh, kami ay natutuwa na although uh, we will defer the implementation, no? nakita namin, ako personally, nakita ko na napakarami ng uh, nagkakabit ng RFID. No? Every time na dadaan ako sa ating mga tollways, no? nakikita ko na marami ng uh, nagpapakabit ng RFID. Uh, and ito ay uh, nangahulugan lang na marami rin uh, susuporta dito sa programa na to, no Alan Francisco, from the National TV Network, for a new and better Philippines.